Hey YouTube, today I want to share my story of how I became a web developer in less than three months and why I believe it's easier today than it was back then. Now the truth is, I didn't even realize I had achieved it in such a short time because you never stop learning, but it did change my life and that's the story I'm going to share today. So as a young adult, like many people, I was in an uncomfortable situation and I had to sustain myself ever since I was 17. Not because my father didn't want to help me, but at this time he lived in another country and there was war over there. So he tried his best and even within war, he was trying to help me the best he could. But, you know, it's like I had to man up. You know, I wanted to help him too and I know he had a lot on his plate. So I had to fly, you know, on my own. So, like I said, financially it was really uncomfortable and I couldn't keep studying. So I had to drop my studies and I decided to go and stop working now the thing is i didn't want to pick any job and just be bored and since i was good with languages i applied as a flight attendant i got the job so i started traveling it was kind of cool you know i made decent money i was traveling a lot met a lot of nice people the thing is flight attendant is a great job but it was just not my dream so i was looking for myself like many of us and i started thinking and reflecting on my life and I remember the feeling I had the day I built a web page. It was a family project and I loved this. So I decided to start digging and trying to find information and bear in mind there weren't as many resources as you can find today here on YouTube, for example. So I started looking through books. Of course, I went through websites, but I started, you know, looking at buying books and learning on my own. And precisely at that time, so I was working as a flight attendant, like I said, but there was a job opening in the IT department. So I decided to apply and I got the job. I was good with computers, so I got the job. It was just to help fix, you know, first line of support. So I got the job and then I had my plan because now it became a reality because I wanted to be part of the web team. So my plan was to identify the issues and how I could help with the web. So I quickly identified an issue within the IT department because we had a list of furnitures and it was an Excel sheet. It was supposed to be synced on the network, but you know, my colleagues used to make copies and it was never synced. And that led to a lot of issues with people needing the furnitures. So I thought, why not build a website internally so that we can manage the stock? Basically, I wanted to build an intranet. Now the issue is I didn't know how to build websites and much less web applications. So I had to learn. So like I said, I bought some books. I bought a really thick book. I mean, I was just discouraged by looking at the size of this book, but it gave me a promise that it could teach me how to build dynamic websites. So I used this book. There was a project like I think it was, I don't know, a book rental or something like that. But I just wanted to grasp the concept and I thought, if I figure this out, then I can build this mini intranet. So I started learning and because now I had a better schedule, you know, I had a regular nine to five schedule, then I took any opportunity to actually start learning more and more at noon, in the evening, even at nights. And I kept working so, so hard. Now, trust me, learning from a book, <laughs> it's crazy hard, especially at that time when uh, there were many errors in the books and then you had to wait for the online version to be corrected. But in the meantime, I mean, you would go crazy. And that's why in the beginning I said that I believe that today it's easier, but more on that later. So I learned with the book, but at this time I didn't know if I wanted to be a front-end developer, a back-end developer, a full-stack developer or a web designer because I always loved the design part more. But at the same time, I was intrigued by the code and all the magic feeling, you know, when you code something and then you build it yourself. So I had to learn the basics, HTML, CSS, PHP, MySQL. And that was, that was a good start as a skill set. And it was a lot to learn. Plus I had to learn a few softwares like Photoshop. I knew Photoshop a little bit already, but you know, I, I wanted to get better at it. So. Cut a long story short, I had to learn a lot of skills to be able to complete these projects. And by the way, in my opinion, if you want to progress fast, the key is to, first of all, don't give up, but that's true for everything in life. 
because the first time it's hard the second time it gets easier and on and on but you already know that but the real takeaway here is that if you build a real world project you're gonna progress so fast so of course it was hard it was really hard but like I said today you can pretty much learn anything for free here on YouTube and if you want something a little bit more structured you have websites like Code Academy or Team Treehouse and many others so really there's no excuse nowadays but the thing is like I said if you craft I mean if you study because you have to complete a real world project you're gonna grow so much faster you're gonna progress way faster it's a little bit like if you want to learn a language just in a book by yourself or you want to learn a language you have the book but you go to a foreign country and then you're stuck there and you need to talk to people you're gonna learn on the spot you're never gonna forget the vocabulary you will know the expressions you will know the language inside out I mean if you stay there long enough but you know I can practically bet that someone that stays two years in a foreign country and someone that studies at home just by themselves for two years the level is going to be so different I think we can all agree with that so back to my story I completed the mini internet project in less than three months and I hadn't told anyone I was working on it I mean at work so once I finished I went to my boss and showed him the mini internet and I had built the documentation everything he was shocked he was really shocked but positively shocked and to cut a long story short, a year later, a new department opened. It was the web marketing department. Okay, it's laughable because nowadays, you know, all companies have some kind of web marketing department. But at the time, in that company, there was web, there was commercial. And at this time, they decided to merge web and commercial with marketing and do a web marketing department. There was a position I applied and my boss put a very great word for me and I got the job job that many people wanted and when I left the department he told me I probably shot myself in the foot because I wanted you to stay here in the department but you deserve it so go and have fun and I did so when I say that embracing a web developer and web designer career changed my life it's an understatement because basically I went from feeling financially insecure uh, just lacking confidence to actually Embracing a career that I love, having fun, being paid to be creative while not getting bored. I mean, okay, it's not all always like this. Sometimes you get bored, but most of the time I don't get bored. I have fun and there are a lot of challenges. Plus the web is evolving and nowadays, for example, I use more and more videos. So I do a lot of video production that I incorporate in my websites and my projects. And when I think back about all of what happened to me and I look at my friends, some of my friends that had a better startup in life than I had, and then I saw them going to a job that they hate and it kind of made me sad for them. I even tried to put a word for them to let them know, okay, maybe you need to do something else. But what I realized is when you don't have the choice, you're going to do it. So if you're in a spot right now where you don't make a lot of money, you don't know what to do with your life, and if there's any chance that you could like or even love web design, it's a great career. For me, it gives me a lot of freedom. Like I said, I'm a creative person and I've explained in another video all the jobs that I tried in my life. But the thing is, with web design, I'm feeling myself actually with all things creative but what i like with web design is that you got text you got images you got video you got sound you got everything everything creative and the cherry on the cake is that after a few years working for other people i had enough skills and confidence to actually start flying on my own so i became a freelancer and you know building my own company it feels great i can choose my own hours I can feel the freedom now I work a lot because yes you get to choose your own hours but if you don't work you don't get paid so you need to get past that barrier of being scared to find your own money but once you've done that I mean it's great now I consider myself a hybrid 
front-end developer, web designer, even though I've done some back-end development, and sometimes I still do, lightweight, but sometimes I still do, even though nowadays, most of the projects I do are WordPress projects, because where I live, this is what the target demographic wants. If I want to make a living where I live, I need to do WordPress. And to be honest, I don't want to reinvent the wheel every time I start a project, but still, I still love web development and I'm trying to incorporate some kind of manual custom web development in each of my projects. Now, as mentioned in the intro, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to give you hope. No matter where you are in life, if you like web development and web design, you don't know where to start, fear not because you can start for free. You can learn a new craft, a new skill set, and you can make a living. You can quit being scared of what you're going to do or financially, how you're going to cope. You can do it. And these are not just words. Me and many others have done it. So as long as you have a way to watch this video, I assume you have some kind of device and you have an internet connection. And of course, it's better to have a computer. It's better to have a computer than a tablet if you want to become a web developer. But some people can learn on tablet if you have one. But if you can get your hands on a computer, even an old computer, that's all you need to get started. You don't need all the fancy bells and whistles, even though with time you want the bells and whistles, you want a fast computer because you want to try a lot of stuff. But just to get started, just to learn HTML, CSS, PHP, MySQL, even with an old computer, a very cheap one, you can get started. Now, one thing that really held me back when I was getting started, and I want to help you with this, is that I really thought that you absolutely needed a degree or some kind of certification to get hired. And I could not be further from the truth. Because in our discipline, you don't need a certification. You don't need a degree. Now, of course, some companies, they're going to ask for a degree up front because, you know, they, they're really trying to choose between all the applicants. But most of the employers, what they need is to see your portfolio. Now, the funny thing is, at the time, I still had that mentality. So even though I was already a developer and I didn't realize it because I had imposter syndrome, I had built a mini intranet, then I was building a lot of stuff, but still I had imposter syndrome. So I went back to take evening classes and I got myself a web developer certification. But the thing is, I never had to show it to any employer not even once in my whole life. Now, I don't even know where it sits right now. I know I have it, but I don't know where it is. And I know it may be hard to believe, especially if you come from an education where your parents told you that you absolutely need a degree of certification to make it in life. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's bad to have a degree or a certification, but what I'm saying is if currently you have no money, you need to make some money. You don't have a lot of time and resources, then I want you to feel safe and know that you don't need to get into debt to change your life. Just don't try to learn everything at once, otherwise you're going to feel overwhelmed. Start with the basics, work with a real life project and see yourself progress. And if you put your time, heart and soul into it, in three months time you'll be applying for your first junior positions and start a new chapter with your life.